Well, February is heart month, and it is very important to know the signs of a heart attack and not delay care, especially during the pandemic. Here to tell us more is Dr. Thomas Pollard, the Director of Cardiovascular Surgery with Baptist Health System. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm doing very well, thank you. Okay, so how can somebody tell if they or someone around them is having a heart attack? Sure. You know, certainly there are classic symptoms uh, of a heart attack. You know, the ones we're familiar with, things like chest pain, being short of breath, getting sweaty and nauseated, feeling your heart um, palpitate. And it's sort of those are the, the classic symptoms that you experience anything like that. You should contact your physician or even go to the emergency room. But, but at the same time, you know, even a quarter of all fatal heart attacks don't present with any symptoms. And so and it's also important if you have a family history, if you are at risk, uh, again, to keep close follow up with your physicians. Okay, and obviously time is of the essence, especially during the, the pandemic. You don't want to delay, right? It's absolutely correct. And that's really kind of one thing we kind of noticed in the pandemic, you know, in San Antonio, as well as all other major cities that have been affected, there's actually been a drop in, in heart attacks in some cities up to 50%. And it's not really that COVID is protective uh, by any means, but it's just really uh, underreporting and patients just not going to see their physician for things that they might normally uh, do so. And so uh, the downside of that is that we sometimes see patients later in their course of their illness. Um, and so oftentimes, you know, as you would expect, problems, serious problems like heart conditions, much more difficult to treat when the patient presents later in their disease state. So if someone does by chance have or have had COVID and they have a heart condition, how does that affect them differently and what should they do moving forward? Well, you know, to be honest with you, we're really kind of learning more and more about that. I mean, you know, obviously COVID is kind of new to everyone, including the medical community. I mean, there are some things we do know that, that COVID can make you what we call hypercoagulable. Uh, that means more likely to form clots. And if you already have, you know, cholesterol plaques in your blood vessels, then you may be at more risk uh, for a heart attack. Uh, it can also injure the myocardial muscle as well and make it weaker. So these are some of the things we're beginning to learn more and more about. And so, again, if you have a history of heart disease and you've had COVID, even more important to stay in close contact with your physicians and to get regular follow up. OK, we've all heard it before, but best ways to prevent a heart attack. Well, you're right. This is all the things we already know about to try to eat the right things and try to stay uh, as active as we can. I think it's for, and, and of course, the big one, of course, not to smoke. Now, the two biggest risk factors we see in patients are smoking and what you inherit from your family. And, and of course, one of those you can do something about and one of them you can't. Uh, and so uh, if you do have a family history uh, and even an absence of symptoms, still important to continue to see your doctor even during the pandemic. All right. Well, if you'd like more information on Baptist Health Systems, give them a call at 866-309-2873. And for more free Heart Month activities, visit baptisthealthsystem.com slash events.